You want to do a uh, stuttering John real quick? Uh, he's got four celebrity interviews. Sure. All right, John. Come on in here. Am I, I wearing... He was sick. Am I wearing my sunglasses? Yes, you are. Oh, good. All right. I don't have to, I don't have to change. You're sick? I got a slight cold. Hero of what? what? Yes, I have a cold. I have a cold. Yeah, you don't answer until your little intro is over. I'm sorry. You have to you ate this already, right? This what? Is, uh, you ate that already? Yeah. Right. Why? It's making no. you sick? No, I don't want to breathe on it if you didn't eat it. Hey, I didn't eat that. Oh. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. John was at uh, that Boathouse Rock for. Yeah, I don't even want to say what it was for because the publicist was being a real idiot and threw us out. Oh, okay. So they can't get any publicity from you, huh? Well, don't you think that's the right way to do it? I wouldn't know what the right way to do anything is, evidently, <laughs> from what I read in the newspaper about me. I'm a real moron. So don't ask me what's right. I come home, my wife asks me what's right to do with the kids. I go, don't ask me. Look at my reputation. Yeah, read my press clipping. Yeah, I can't even decide what tattoo to get. I didn't call D yesterday. i got to get that tattoo. I don't think you want a tattoo. I, I do. I think you like talking about it. I'm burning tattoo. for one. I, my skin was made to be inked. Oh. Oh. You don't even know. Like I said, I wish you would get just a little dot just to see what it's like, the healing process and everything. Yeah, Ron Zimmerman told me it hurts. He has 12 of them. Did it really hurt that much? It's not the the getting the tattoo. It's all the stuff you have to do afterwards. They have to be taken care of. Oh, what do I have to do afterwards? You have to put uh, big deal. That's uh, a big deal. Vaseline or what is it? Noxzema. They told me to put on mine. Vaselina? No, Noxzema. Noxzema? Yeah, it's supposed to make the ink uh, end up being brighter. Oh, that's no big deal. As long as it doesn't hurt. And then you got to clean it, and you can't put it in the sun. Oh, and all geez. kinds of stuff. Hey. No sun. How long can't you get in the sun? For like six weeks. Oh, I'm not going to... Oh. What am I going to do, not go out all summer? Well, you have to sir. cover your tattoo. Yeah, but then no one will see it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey. What good? No jetty time. <laughs> oh, sun. <laughs> well, I'm going to go get one anyway. I don't care. All you naysayers. <laughs> I can't wait to live through that with you. <laughs> My wife wants me even to get one. Well, it's not about whether you should or not. Well, I'm it comes saying... out like crap, though. Then you're, then you're going to be like, oh. It's not going to come out like crap because I'm going to this really good tattoo place. And I've seen all her work. She's never missed Yeah, they that. always do exactly what they say they can. Yeah. That's my biggest fear. You know, it's like you look at it, it's like it's all mangled up. It's yeah, look at you. It would be a shame yeah. to mess you up. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> all right, let's see who you interviewed last night. Mary Wilson from the Supremes? Yeah. Just a... She's uh, used to be a Supreme. She's the one that's not Diana Ross. <laughs> you know. Is she she's the one not that... dead and she's not Diana Ross. Yeah, was she on welfare or something? No. Oh, I don't that's know. That's the one who's dead. I had to ask her who she was. Didn't she have cancer or something? She might... Is that... That doesn't... She had something. She, she had something. I know one of her kids mm. was killed in a car accident. Oh, well, that's pleasant. Is that, uh, is that where she fell asleep or something? Yeah, she, she was driving. They were trying to escape the earthquake, and they were driving to Vegas, and she fell asleep and... Crashed. Yeah, uh. yeah, got into an accident. See, I think the one time you'd be awake is during an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd be pretty nervous. She rocked it as <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe that was her or the other one. I don't know. What? The other Supreme. That isn't Diana Ross. But anyway, here's Mary Wilson with Stutter and John. Let's hear what this is. Hi, who are you? Mary Wilson. Yeah, we always like that. Who are you? <laughs> Even though they, she's a good sport about it, it kills everyone. And what do you do that makes Father you... Father Supreme. Oh, yes, yeah, so you're a singer? Yes, yes, yes. Sing me a little something so I can, you know, you know, what songs are you known for? Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. She's way too good a sport. <laughs> She's supposed to be pissed off already. Right work with Diana Ross. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Working with you is working with you is easy. <laughs> well, let me get it over. <laughs> She's a nice lady. I hope you didn't bust her balls too bad. Well, what did you write for him? <laughs> no, we'll I don't remember. Uh, a bunch of generics, but yeah, generic stuff. And the generic stuff. I asked, the, I asked the black-related questions. Oh, good. Okay. She can handle that. <laughs> Yes. Who do you think, O.J.? Is he innocent or guilty? What do you think? You know, I think the courts are going to decide that. But personally, I know he's innocent. <laughs> okay. Oh. okay. <laughs> did you wait until you were 21 until you had sex? No, unfortunately, I did not. Yeah. Um, how big of a sham do you think Michael Jackson's marriage is? Oh, a sham? I don't think it's a sham at all. I think, just like Lisa said, they're the perfect match. I mean, they're both rich. They're both famous. They both have the highest in the world. I mean, they're a perfect match. Yes. Don't you think so? Well, but be honest. Uh, Boy, she's 100% black. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a real black woman. Right yeah. She has no questions about Michael Jackson. No, that's 100% black. Or Nothing. 
If you here, here's what it means to be black. O.J.'s innocent. Mike Tyson didn't rape anybody, and uh, Michael Jackson's marriage is 100 percent kosher. <laughs> That's a real black woman. Did she have a Rodney King for mayor button? <laughs> no? No, no, she's not that black. Yeah. Should ask her about the L.A. riots. If she said they had a good reason, then then she's black. That's the Did you ask That's her the... about Mike Tyson? Well, well, no, well, I, 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 further, I further ask her more about Michael Jackson. Oh, okay, good. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, would you let your little boy sleep in bed in, in a bed along with Michael Jackson? Uh, I don't think that's the issue here. Well, but I mean, it is I scary. Though. I don't think so. I think that's all a vicious rumor. What does she mean? That's the issue. There, there was no. Wait a minute. There, there was, was no a doubt that. Here. There was no doubt that uh, he slept with the uh, boys. The well, question that's... was, would she let her kids sleep? Yeah. She said it's not the. She's black. She's 100 percent black. Really? All those kids are lying? It's, it's a vicious rumor. All those little boys are lying? It's a vicious rumor, oh, trust me. Okay, let me okay. ask you one more. Okay. Did you ever fart while yelling on the stage? Did I ever fight while I was on the no, stage? No, fart, fart. No, we know she fought when she was on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> she fought with Diana Ross. <laughs> no, of course not. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Are you did you do it just now? Uh -huh. <laughs> Take care. Poor woman finally gets interviewed by a moron. <laughs> now, this next interview is... Um, Jill Goodacre, but her name is she's a model, but she married Harry Connick Jr. Oh, that's why I know that. So now her name is Jill Connick. Oh, she yeah. changed. Jill Goodacre Connick. Yeah. Oh boy. Jill that right. Rolls right. Who are you? Jill Connick. And what do you Who do? Who are you? I'm John. And what do you do that makes you famous? Um. <laughs> You're getting good at asking that. <laughs> and what do you do that makes you famous? What? What? <laughs> Didn't she have him draw the cover? Yeah, he drew, she yeah, drew the cover. she's doing his right. cover art. Yeah, she has her own company for that, I think. <laughs> because she wants to get paid. She was doing oh, it for right. free. Well, the accountant said it's good for tax purposes. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> right. She gets other business. Oh, what do you do that makes you famous? Uh, a few things. You know, what are you known for? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little ignorant. I'm a model. Oh, are you really? Mm -hmm. So you get paid just to stand around. Oh, <laughs> oh John. <laughs> Pay just to stand around. Usually. Yeah. Um, but just a couple of questions. Do you think that you know Mickey Mantle's uh, drinking yet? I have no idea. What a question. She's good looking though, isn't she? Yeah, Where yeah. Is she's she from. She's another she, planet. She, she, she's a Victoria's Secret model. Yeah. yeah. Strange visitor from another planet. With a name like Goodacre, you wouldn't expect this. Yeah. Accent. Good acre. <laughs> well, you know, you... of course not. Okay. Um, uh, Where are you from? Yeah. I'm from uh, WXRK in you know, radio. Uh huh. Um, so, uh, <laughs> <That helps. laughs> why are so many Broadway dancers gay, Jill? You're asking some very bizarre questions. <laughs> we can... Thank you, Jill. <laughs> she just walked away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's rude. Yeah, uh, that's very rude. I guess she didn't know. All right, who's Bridget Hall, a model? Yeah, she's a supermodel. All right, here's John with a supermodel. Is, it, is this a supermodel, Fred? Definitely on the cusp. Yeah. Oh, on the, on the cusp. cusp. She hasn't cusp. quite made it yet? Well, she's young yet. On the is she a, a supermodel or not? I just want to answer. I'd say she is, yeah. Yeah. You said, all right. You can never get a definitive one. I said to everyone she is, but to Freddie, yeah. she's on the cusp. I thought Jackie's wife was weird, but you take the cake, Fred. Right, there you go. All right. He's never heard she's of She's perfectly normal next you to you. He kept his crown. Right. He's never heard what of the word What was wrong yet. with that answer? I said to you, is she a supermodel? You go, she's definitely on the cusp. On the cusp. Right. And then I go, well, is she or isn't she a supermodel? I go, oh, yes, she is. I'd no, say, no. He is, then yeah. said, well, she's very young. Yeah. Well, is she a supermodel? Uh, yeah, if you're going to pin me down. <laughs> I mean, Fred, it was a simple question. The answer was yes. I had no idea this was such a, a hotbed of controversy that day. You know, Fred, one thing you couldn't be is a computer because that it, a computer just knows yes or no. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Bridget Hall, supermodel on the cusp. Very young. She has just the biggest problem answering the question. Is, is, is she 18 or not? Is she over 18? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally confused now. <laughs> what did he say? Forget it. Just forget it. 
<laughs> you know, his stutter is much worse than he's, when he's sick. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is Bridget Hall. Very beautiful, right? <laughs> yes, she's very hot. Hi, who are you? Uh, I'm Bridget Hall. And what do you do? I'm a model. Okay, uh, are you over 18 yet? Um, yeah, no. No? No. Wow. Um, are you smarter than Christy Brinkley? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. She's very intelligent. She's probably smarter. Do you think Kate Moore sticks her finger down her throat? No. Brad, can we get a photo of her? Ever allow pictures to be taken of you while you're menstruating? Right here. Let's get one. No. Right here. Who are the lesbian models hit on you? Thank you. <laughs> she walked away. They walked the ride in, and then all the cameramen yell at me because I screwed up their, their photo up. Now, you meet up with uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. Yes. Now, she's a big fan of the show. Well, but she doesn't admit it. I happen to know this secretly. Really? Because it's very yeah. strange. But that's what I thought, and I asked you. You know, you'll see. Well, you, you know, she's the one. She dates Matthew Broderick. She was in a couple of movies and stuff, but I know that she's a huge fan of the show. How do you know this? Um, well, someone I know gave her a limo ride once. Uh huh. And he told me that she, like, the second she gets in the car, has to put on the show. Like, that you know, she's a fan. And sits back there and giggles. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's pretty hardcore. I mean, <laughs> maybe she just, what? she has to know what you're doing. I don't know. I just have to tell you about her. She dates Matthew Broderick. I don't know that they're still together anymore. I don't anymore. think they are, because the last couple of times they haven't been together. Yeah. Right? Matthew Broderick is that actor who uh, drove... Yeah. Didn't, he, didn't he kill someone with his car? He's on the wrong side, yeah. side of the road in Ireland. Yeah. Legitimate mistake. <laughs> yeah, he made a mistake. I mean, he, yeah, right. He just was on the wrong <laughs> side of the road. Tell the two people. He yeah. was found innocent of vehicular manslaughter. Right. Um, the visual on this, from what they tell me, is John's asking her a bunch of questions, and then she tries to get away... And I guess she's like in heels or something. There's a cobblestone road. Oh, and she yeah. goes for the... Uh, to like buckling. Yeah, she's trying to walk in the cobblestone to get away I from I know. Her. That's great. And then I just chase her down and get the, the last question with her. John goes in for the kill. Yeah. Oh, boy. But, but Howard, it's pretty funny because when I first go up to her, she gets really startled. Like, it's like, <gasps> she freaks out. You know, yeah. come out of nowhere. I don't like all these in-the-closet celebrities who won't admit that they listen to us. You know, they're sort of in the closet about being fans. See, I don't understand that. Either you are a fan or you're not. Why yeah. don't you lie about it or keep it a secret? I guess it's embarrassing. It's not politically correct to lie. Yeah, well, right. then I won't plug her play because I saw her in it and I thought she was really good, but no, I'll be don't. secret about it. These are people who pretend for a living. Yeah, I know. Well, all right, let me hear this interview. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Can I ask a question? I'm sorry. Oh, you're that aggressive fellow. No, I'm not. Let me ask you. Um, Aren't you legitimate on the yes. real station? Yes, yes. Do you think you're too good to be nude in movies? Oh. <laughs> you're not going to get me, fella. Oh, come on, Sarah. I don't think I'm too good to be to be nude in movies. I, I think I have a certain standard which I like to keep. Yeah. <laughs> would you ever date a bisexual? Uh, no. Nope. No, I'm kidding. I don't know what I would do. I have no idea. Wait, she's a fan of the show, aren't you? you got a fan right of which show? Right Howard Stern show. Right I, I think Howard Stern's a very funny fella. Oh, okay. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, she does own up to it. Oh, so she does. So that's cool. Right this way, fella. <laughs> she's walking up the cobblestones now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that, that thumping? <laughs> yeah, she's got a hot body, though, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you should go see her in this play. Yeah. She plays dog. My name's Sylvia. Is she naked? <laughs> no. What dog wears clothes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, the dog is full of hair, so I figured oh, that the lovely. license they're taking. Does Take she it. lick herself? Oh. <laughs> she acts like a dog. Yeah, she licks herself? <laughs> Actually, it is quite good, and it's called Sylvia. Let me hear the rest of this. Sorry. But, but, Excuse me. Watch yourself. Sorry. Watch John. Come on. Thank you very much. Well, she, she, she's cool with me. Yes, yeah, she is cool, but that's so, not. Sarah, see, Sarah, see, Sarah, can you believe this? They're all pushing me away. It's amazing. <laughs> all I'm doing is asking questions, and they won't let me talk to you. Sarah, can I ask you just one more? Why? Sorry, because we're telling you two questions. Sarah, are you frightened when you drive with Matthew? Thank you. That is completely out of line. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. That's completely out of line. She's cute. She's got a cute little voice. Yeah. She does. I'd like to nail her up against the wall. <laughs> like Jesus. Oh. Sarah, are you frightened when you drive with 
Matthew? Thank you. That is completely out of line. Was she upset? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, let she walked in. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. <laughs> and it's, and it's, it's, it's a shame because the, the next question was really funny. What was that? Uh, since you're playing a dog on Broadway, are you starting to drag your ass on the carpet? <laughs> <laughs> See? She should have hung around. She could have had some good questions. That's what's funny because it's one of the lines from the play. Yeah. You're all thinking alike. She wants to play my wife in the movie, but I don't know. Is that true or do yeah. you want her to play your no, wife? No, she wants to. She has approached you? Not me directly, no. She's approached somebody? I don't know. Oh, you. I just I read in the paper one day that... That paper article said you wanted her to play your No, nah, but it sounds like something she planted. <laughs> I didn't plant that. <laughs> I might audition her for the nude scene. There's a nude scene with your wife? Yeah. How are things going with that? Getting almost done there? What? You almost, you, 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 <laughs> things almost ready to go with that? Oh, come on, man. Don't pressure me. <laughs> That's completely out of line. <laughs> Don't ask me stupid questions, all right? <laughs> Actually, I was thinking if she could play my dog. <laughs> if I ever get one. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if she played my dog in the movie? I'd be nailing my dog in the corner. She gets playing dog. My husband's cheating on me with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bark once if you're scared of your boyfriend, Matthew. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. Good job, uh, Stuttering John. Thanks, sir. Hero of the Stupid. You know, cool. Uh, whoever plays your wife, you get to make out with him. Right. You know? No kidding. No, he doesn't. Haven't you heard about his home life? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's funny. <laughs> well, we're going to take some license for that script. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna feel if you gotta kiss these like these big like uh, oh, I'm gonna actresses hate it. and then they oh I'm gonna hate it and you get saliva all over their mouth yeah and, uh, oh it's gonna be horrible <laughs> what I hope. like so you, it's gonna be hard to kiss yeah them it's real hard that's hard work good John yeah, John, no. John hasn't yeah. figured out how to kiss when, oh Robin come on you everyone you kiss you 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 you, 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 you right on the aim you, you know you hey, John. Know, your lips go over the lips and you get saliva all over the place you know. you're a retard oh, come on oh, come on hey John in the movie I want you to play my dog <laughs> and then when I, there's a scene where you're in the back of the car and you stick your head out the window <laughs> with your tongue wagging and you get hit with a telephone pole. <laughs> <your head wagging. laughs> that would be a good scene. What are you talking about? Why would it be hard to kiss a beautiful girl? What? Every girl you've kissed, you had a perfect kiss. You didn't, like, ever, like, you know, who off... cares? I'm just saying. Think my... about it. I'm going to do more than kiss in my movie. you would be damn straight. I'm going to be in third or fourth base. <laughs> oh, right. Fourth base? Yeah. <laughs> That's a home run. Grand slam. A grand slam. <laughs> you can be sure it's going to be all well, rated like at least. His baseball game, fourth base. Whatever. <laughs> Wait and see. I ain't nervous about it at all. I'm waiting for that. It's the reason I keep living. That's why yeah, I'm not hanging you be myself. Be embarrassed if you miss. Oh yeah, I'd be like, real embarrassed. Are you gonna go? To, are you, I'd have to do it again. <laughs> are you gonna go to the casting of like when when, when the different actors try? <laughs> yeah. Out? Can I go to that just to watch? No. Talk? <laughs> Stupid. That's why would I have fun. you there? What do I need you there for? To ask stupid questions? I, uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm like, I'm so alive. I'm like, I'm missing this. All right, let's take a break. And thank you, Stuttering John. Good job last night. And we'll be back after these words.